Hey guys, this is Angela from Stage Right Secrets, and I'm here with Kaylee Shore. Hi! What's going on, girl? How are you? Good, good. This is my, like, I don't even, I lost track of uh, interviews of the day, but it's first day of CMA Fest. I've had a ton of coffee, and I feel like I can do anything. Yes, girl. <laughs> okay, so tell us about your first fan party. Oh my gosh. Um, so my first fan club party was two years ago, and now I'm having my third. Mm -hmm. um, but it's been so great to watch it um, grow every year. And the first one, we did it at my publishing company, and it was a little bit more intimate. And this year, we have almost 140 people. So um, we are literally, the fire marshal code was like, you can't have any more people there. And I'm like, okay, well. <laughs> so that's the only reason I cut it off. But we're doing it at the Goo Goo Cluster store, because my new single is called Candy. So I was like, theme party. Um, <laughs> And they are making a custom Kaylee Shore milkshake. No way. Yes. So it's like pastel blue, and then it has a rainbow edible straw coming out the side. And then there's cotton candy off the side, and there's a ton of whipped cream, and then there's edible glitter stars on it. That's incredible. I know. And I'm like, I, it's, I get to have it later today, but I'm like dreaming about it. <laughs> That's literally you and a milkshake. That's it's what I said. I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so fun. Yeah. So you went to the CMTs last night. I did. So yes. how hard was it to find the perfect outfit? Um, it was actually such an interesting um, red carpet. Um, I wore this amazing vintage John Paul Gaultier gown um, that I had found in a warehouse. Um, like six months ago. It's vintage. It's from the 90s. And I just fell in love with it. And it's like, I tried to like find it online and, and whatever, but it's like so rare and um, my stylist was looking for it too and he found like Rihanna had wore it in like red and I'm like, okay. Um, but it was like this like magic moment in this like, you know, warehouse sample sale thing and um, I saved it for six months and then wore it last night and then I got on the Glamour Best Dress list. Congratulations. I'm so excited. That's amazing. Yeah. Um, so it was like, it was my favorite look I've ever worn and someone on the red carpet called it like 90s rocker chic and I was like, I will take that. Yes. I like that. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have a favorite performance last night? Um, I think my favorite performance was probably, well, I hate saying this because it makes it sound like I don't like, like country music. I love country music, but the Backstreet Boys, man, and Kelly Clarkson. Yes. I mean, I was just like, but Carrie, oh, it's so hard to bet. Carrie singing Cry Pretty, like I got really emo. Mm -hmm. Um, But I think my favorite moment of the night was Carly Pierce winning um, break, was it breakthrough video or breakout video? I think it was breakout video. Breakout video, I think. <laughs> don't I, don't know. Know. <laughs> I was paying attention, I promise. But I started crying. I know. And we have this big group text, and everyone was like, Carly, we love you so much. You're so pretty. And, like, we're Aww. all, like, I, I could look down and see, like, Cassidy crying. And, yeah. Like, she just deserves it so much. Like, there's no I think this is a bold statement, but I'll stand by it. I don't think anyone deserves that more than Carly Pierce because she has worked her butt off mm -hmm. and been nice. Yeah. And those are two th those are the two things that will get you that far and right. um, I'm just such a fan of her and I'm so proud of her and her speech was amazing. I know when she started crying, I started crying. I know. Like I can't. <laughs> like so proud. I saw her this morning and I was like, "Love you." <laughs> yeah, she's so sweet. So yeah. anyways, I could talk about Carly all day clearly, <laughs> but um so we like her. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have a favorite CMA Fest memory? Um, let's see. I think my favorite CMA Fest memory was last year on the Radio Disney Country stage. Um, they launched their FM station in LA. So they, they purchased an FM station. They're, they've always been on XM Radio and on the app, but they, they bought the FM station in, in, um, in LA and we got to pull the lever um, to turn it on in LA. So it was the first time they ever launched the station and we're on the um, CMA Fest stage and it was me, Savannah Kais, Tegan Marie, um, Kelsey Ballerini and Hunter mm -hmm. Hayes and we all got to like do the, it was so dramatic, it was really <laughs> fun. So that was that was a really cool memory just getting to like launch that for Radio Disney yeah. Country because they're so cool and it was mm -hmm. a cool moment. So since CMA Fest benefits music education, do you have any favorite memories growing up learning music in school? Yeah, absolutely. I mean that's my favorite part about CMA Fest is the fans, but it's also really, really amazing that they give back so much to music in schools. Mm -hmm. I grew up in a really low-income neighborhood and um, didn't necessarily have the opportunity to like buy instruments and, and buy lessons and, and all that. And I, I'd always known I loved music, but I didn't have the opportunity to um, play guitar until I went to a school that had a music program. And I was very lucky because my high school put a really big emphasis on the arts. Um, so there was a really great theater program. We had a drama and speech class that involved like singing too, and um, we we had a guitar elective so my sophomore year I got to literally play guitar every day in class and it was so fun and um, I think that those little moments leading up to that I mean I still keep in touch with my drama teacher um, really allowed me to do this for a living and get that confidence and that experience um, so it's amazing to think that because of CMA Fest there could be a little girl who might not have the opportunity um, mm -hmm. to, you know or the finances to do that who could 
benefit from music in schools and, and somehow realize that she wants to do this mm -hmm. for the rest of her Absolutely. life. Absolutely. Yeah. So you were on the CMT Next Woman of Country tour. Yeah. So what was your favorite memory of that experience? It was such a great tour. Um, I mean, I got to sing with Sarah every night. Me, her, and Raylan would do Girls Just Want to Have Fun. And me and Raylan would do I Can Love You Better by the Dixie Chicks. So I got to sing with both of them every night. And um, But I think my favorite moment was um, Ray and I had a couple bus sleepovers, which were fun. But I got to do her makeup a couple times. And that was really fun. We'd just be in her bus and you know gossiping and girl talking and all that and like doing her eyeshadow and she's just like the sweetest in the world and it was like a big sleepover so <laughs> very fun so what's next for you after CMA Fest I have a tour that I'm announcing it's a little bit unconventional but I'm very excited about it um, and it's gonna bring me to a lot of places I haven't been before so I'm mm -hmm. really really pumped to announce that um, and I just released my single candy off my EP awake so we've got a lot of fun visuals coming from that it's a very visual driven song and I have like this whole like wonderland of ideas for for it so we'll see um, what that turns into but I'm really excited I love CMA Fest and it, it feels like um, you know it's, we're going into the second half of the year and the first year half was incredible mm -hmm. and the best six months of my life so far and um, I'm gonna start working on a new record while still like working on Awake too so awesome yeah. well we always love chatting with you thank you thank you so much you're so sweet for all things music check out stageratsecrets.com and then check out Kaylee go ahead and plug your socials yeah so you can follow me at Kaylee Shore K-A-L-I-E S-H-O-R-R, -R, and find out all about my tour at KayleeShore.com. Right. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching.